Here, we have the Series 1 figure, Yoda. Let's start off with his statistics. Yoda features a medium-sized base, a solid speed of 12 movement, and a cost of 30 points. Class is a leader, and a Jedi, rightfully so. He uses a very common lightsaber striking attack. Yoda's range is lower than most lightsaber strikers because Yoda's lightsaber is much shorter. You will also notice his lightsaber is pointed slightly upwards, making it harder to hit shorter figures. Regardless, his attack is still better than many. His 12 inches of movement is what you would expect from a 30 point striker. I would describe his defense as average. In his favor, he has a lightsaber blocking his chest to deflect some attacks. He is also a shorter figure, which gives him a slightly better center of gravity. He is very balanced as well. His defense would be above average if he had a large size base. Even though his defense isn't the absolute best in the game, he can be played with a very defensive role in mind. Yoda's ability is Vengeance, and can remove any figure that attacked Yoda as long as you have another figure in play. As if this wasn't scary enough, he has a 77% white ratio. You will definitely want to attack Yoda with your weakest figure, or at least make sure he's the last one standing before you do so. Series 1 Yoda has great movement speed and one of the best abilities in the game. His defense is plenty passable, and for a lightsaber striker, he is definitely someone you'll want on your team. I can't think of many 30 point figures that topple him in raw gameplay. I rate his gaming ability a 82 out of 100. If you like this review and love the game of tactics, please share this video and join the Facebook group linked in the description below. To talk, sell, buy, trade, all things a tactics.